hit a number of these questions about some comments made about you yesterday about Jay McClowney. Do you have any response in, oh, to what he said? The only thing I have to say is today you have Clowney. He's a great player, man. Uh, I give credit where credit is due. Uh, people are going to always remember that last play, but you know, you just got to come in ahead and anticipate if you want to be sitting next to him. Have you already put those comments up on somewhere in your locker, or have you already printed them out and put them up somewhere? Oh, I have enough motivation. I don't need He says you talk junk a lot. What, what do you say to him? Oh, he said one guy brought up his mama. Was that you? You know, I don't, I don't totally compare it, like I said to him. But, uh, you know, I, I think it's all healthy competition, you know, on the field. That's just really how I love to play the game. And like I said, he's a great player, and I give him all the credit. Tell me, what about the excitement? What about the excitement of this day? Obviously, it's not the crowd that we see going around Johnny Manziel. But what about the excitement of being here at SEC Media Days and representing the Big Orange? Oh, yeah, most definitely. I'm just honored to be able to represent the Big Orange, being able to represent my teammates, being able to represent my family, you know, first off. And, uh, you know, it's, this is a big deal. It's a dream come true to be able to come here and represent this university. There's a lot of hype surrounding this offensive line, but why is that hype for real in your opinion? I think it's for real because we've been together for a long time, and you know it. It shows on the film that you know we've been working really hard, but just going to continue to get better. I remember yeah, last year at this time we were talking about buying into the previous system. Now we're doing it again. But 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 why do you feel like you guys are really buying into this and this new head coach, Coach Jones? Coach Jones, he's just a personable coach. I mean, every day he comes in, he brings something to the table. He brings energy, a word of encouragement. So that's what you want from a coach. And when you get that, your players are going through a wall for you. And I know for me personally, I went through a wall for Coach, uh, coach Jones. Over. You know, some of these coaches were talking about Coach Jones yesterday and with early scouts they said yes we see those guys buying into them and, and we feel like he's a proven winner they also believe that you guys are going to step up and surprise some people do you feel like that i most definitely i feel like that every year and uh you know like i said the old line we're the we're the captains of this team and we're just going to continue tell me how much have you guys talked about expectations for this season for his first season oh yeah it's a it's just game by game that's all it is uh living by the tennessee standard the seven maxims you live by that you'll be fine um, this year's a little bit different SEC Media Days. Almost last few years, it's been skilled players that have been represented. Now you have three linemen. How much does that tell you about Tennessee right now and where maybe their, their strength is? Uh, it just shows you that our strength is offensive line and defensive line, but what we got to do is uh, bring our younger guys along with the skilled guys, and we bring them along to follow. Tony, you, you talked about watching NFL tackles in the offseason to help improve your game. Who are some guys you've been keeping an eye on this summer? Uh, Ryan Clady from uh, left tackle from the Broncos. Also, left tackle from uh, the Patriots, um, Nate Shoulder. So, uh, you know, just trying to watch their game and see what they do well to, you know, implement it to my game. Tony, you talked about the lines of scrimmage. How important is that in this league? I mean, you guys have had talent, but it's always been young talent now. Now it's mature. How important is that in this league? I think it's very important. And I think that that's what makes the SEC go so good is that at the line of scrimmage, you know, you got to, you, your starting five is probably going to play in the NFL, you know what I'm saying, on both sides of the ball. So I think that's the difference in this conference. And uh, like I said, we're just going to continue to get better and lead this team. Tony, you, a, lot, a lot of guys this time of year talk about, um, I'm in the best shape, you know, the strength. So many coaches have done this and done that. What have you guys done differently? What's been different about this offseason program as opposed to ones in the past? Uh, just the way that we condition and the way that our coaches push us. And when I say that they push us, they really push us to our limits. And like I said, during the offseason, I was trying to lose some weight. Right now, I'm down to a good 318. That's the lightest I've been since I've been in college. So, I mean, the work shows. You talked about conditioning. I imagine that's a lot of running. Right? Oh, yeah, it is, is a lot. It is, it, is, it is a lot of running. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we ran 52 110s. I've never done anything like that in my life. You know, but I think it was more, you know, challenging us mentally than anything. Did y'all know beforehand that you were going to run 52, or was it just was it no, just, was he said, going as he went? Yeah, coach, he just said, he just said show up and uh, let's go. Does he pick 52? Uh, you know what? I need him here to answer that because I have no idea. But uh, yeah, it was challenging and we, we accepted it. How did you prepare for that? You can't prepare for it. You know what I'm saying? You just got to go out there and go. How much weight did you say you dropped? I dropped about, I want to say about 12 pounds since last season. Sonny said yesterday about anyone who went up against him yesterday who was the toughest and he said you. What's your reaction? Uh, I mean, you know, I think the good players step up when you know, it's time to step up. And Clowney, like I said, he's a great player. You know, he had his comments yesterday, but you know, like I said, I'm just going to continue to get better so I can help my team become better. Some of the reaction is... Oh, yes, yeah, so that's that's just a part of my game. That's how I love to play the game. Some of the reaction has been that if you, if you said offensive line is holding, getting, getting away with it, is that a compliment for an offensive lineman? Or? I, guess, I guess it is. I mean, the great ones can hold and get away with it, so I mean, I guess I'll take that as a compliment. You'll probably get this downstairs, but Justin and, and Cordell kind of put off the NFL question until the end of the year. Are you thinking about that at all, or are you kind of pressed on our season? I'm worried about winning this season. 
hip hop in the field is even better in my mind right now. Uh, like I said, this offensive line, you know, we got an offensive line who can all play in the NFL, but our, our, our focus right now is winning games. Are you taking that an insurance policy? A lot of Right now, I'm in the process of that. I haven't, it's not official yet, but I'm in the process. When you look back at that South Carolina game, did you, do you look back and say, hey, I had a really good game against Conley, or does that last play haunt you a little bit? Oh, it haunts me a little bit, but the thing that's, that's encouraging is it wasn't nothing that he did. It was all a technique flaw. You know what I'm saying? And the way I look at it, I see myself as the best type of the country, so I just got to continue to get better. What's the difference in playing left tackle or right tackle? I think that at right tackle, depending on the system, you need more of a road grade runner, like a, like a guy that's better in the run game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and left tackle was more, it's a little more finesse in the fast game. I think that's the difference. Could Juwan play left tackle? Juwan could play left tackle. That's the thing. We basically have two left tackles, play, you know, we basically have two left tackles, but you know, it is where it is. you play right tackle? <laughs> so, uh, did you play right tackle? Yes, I could play right tackle. Who's the better player between the two of you? Do you guys talk about that at all? Uh, <laughs> I think that, you know, that's hard to say. You know what I'm saying? He brings a lot of stuff to the table. I bring a lot of stuff to the table, so it's hard to say. How do you say that, you know, you don't not, not think about the NFL and stuff right now? How hard is it to ignore that? This is when, you know, when you talk about watching a guy like Ryan Clayton, how is it, you know, you see that and you compare yourself to him, I can do that, or you don't throw it. Well, the thing is, it's like, if you don't perform, you're not going to get there. So it's like, if I don't perform this year or the next year, you know, when I decide to leave, I'm not going to get there, so I have to well, I was on my performance before I can get up to my answer. And is it, is it still, I mean, in, I don't mean to put words in your mouth, but Marvin, do you see yourself, you know, number 10, number 12, and then these draft boards? Is that, is that motivation? I, that, that is motivation. I see myself as a top guy, you know what I'm saying, with the time comes, but like I said, that's not, that's not my focus right now. I was one hundred percent about mid June. I've been running full speed with sprints. The whole world runs with the view run, so I'm back. Is there any time It took about a couple days, and I was back at work. What about for for camp? Do you know if you're gonna have to take days off now and then? Well, no, we have a lot of. I think it's gonna be good. My knees right now feel one hundred percent. I mean, we have the best trainers left in the country, and they've been working well with me. Sat down in the spring to let me feel so good. Tiny, why will Tennessee be an improved team this year from last year? Uh, I think. It, that Coach Jones' resume speaks for itself. He's a proven winner. I'm excited. And, uh, he's holding us to us. He's holding everybody to a standard. You know, so he challenges me every day. And I think if you want to be great, that's what you want to be. Coach is somebody that's going to challenge you. And uh, that's what he does really well. So I, that's why I don't want to be Do you see a better chemistry yeah. with this team already? I already do. Because that's, that's the thing that Coach presents his own, even in the workouts. Every now and then, guys, make sure that you got your brothers back. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's truly a brotherhood. And that's what we do is we make sure that it's great. Is that one of the biggest guys? Coach Jones, Coach Jones, Coach Jones. Coach Jones. I would just say very personal. He has, he tries to have a, a relationship with all the players from the walk ons all the way to the big time players. So I say that's the difference. That camaraderie, Tati, and more, is that the biggest difference going into this season versus a year ago? And how exactly has coach sort of manufactured that? I would say that is the biggest thing because you know it's all it's just called that is we don't have just a hundred, we don't have CP anymore. So that's gonna have to be the biggest thing for us. We're gonna have to overachieve. So uh, you know, and like like you said about Coach Jones, it's just very personal. We try to have personal. I do not. I do not. I brought. I brought a. Uh, it's plaited like my vest right here. But uh, I think I'm the best dressed though. <laughs> you, you say overachieved, but you guys also seem to, seem to have a lot of confidence and a lot of belief. Mm -hmm. How do you explain that? I guess. I, I think that is as athletes, you're supposed to have that confidence, whether you lose the prior season or whatever. I think that confidence is supposed to be inside you. So. I think that we all have the confidence that we can play with anybody in the SEC. We're just going to continue to, you know, prepare and uh, prepare, I mean, prepare and uh, get better. You like this area, Bob? I do. I do. Uh, it's somewhat similar to what we were in last year. Uh, but like I said, it's helped me, you know, slim down a little bit. And we're going to be moving pretty fast. So, like, you know, I got a couple of pounds to go, but I think uh, it's going to be beneficial for all of us. Coach Jones said it can be even faster this mm -hmm. fall. Do you see that? Uh, I can't see it. I, I think that if our coaches, whatever our coaches tell us to do, we're going to try to do it to the best of our abilities. If he continues to push us to get there, then we're going to get there. Tony, the benchmark for an offensive line is the 1,000-yard rush. It's been a while since Tennessee's had one of those. Do you think about that? Was it a chance you guys 
to get Ray John or Marlon, you know, more yards this year? Yes, most definitely. I mean, a lot of guys talk to us about the, say that we're the best offensive line in the country. I felt like we were the best offensive line in the country as far as pass protection. I think that we can still improve in the run game. So that's going to be the biggest thing, having a couple thousand yard rush. Everyone wants to talk about passing game, but football's built about the run game, around the run game. Uh, coaches are stressing that at all? Or is, is there an emphasis on, on running the ball better this year? Oh, yes, most definitely. I think that, you know, as an offensive lineman, especially me, you have to be complete. You know, I don't think the scouts look at you and say, oh, he's a great pass protector. Let's drop the list of draft him. you got to have it all. So that's what we're focusing on is getting better overall. Tennessee has come down here previous years and commanded national attention. You guys are a lot going on today with Texas A&M here. Do you guys feel like you're, you're sort of, I don't want to say overlooked, but maybe not getting the attention that teams would have in the past? We're Tennessee. We're one of the most storied programs in college football. <laughs> so that's the way it was. You look back to this time a year ago, and you know, everybody expected you, know, you to come in and play and have a good year. But contrast it to right now, and you know, kind of down here where the face of the program, the best defensive lineman in the country, you know, being asked about you. And how much different How much different does it feel? Uh, you know, I th it's, it's really surreal just to be down here and, you know, all the festivals that are going on. But it just, you know, I think it's a compliment to how hard I've worked and how hard this offensive line has worked. I mean, it's not just one player. I think that it's collectively the old line has helped me get better too. So. Do you think you individually improved yourself last year, or do you think you just gave everybody a taste? I think I gave everybody a taste. I think that I could be so much better. And just what are a couple you know, things that you, you know, think that you could be better at? This? I think that I could be better on that point of technical on the backside of his own block and on the backside of his own plays, you know what I'm saying, getting up the field a little better, more to the second level, and, uh, you know, just my footwork in general, not just you know, relying on my power, but being well rounded Kind of next year, you go into the Florida game, there's a lot of buzz about it. It's a sellout. Two and a half quarters, you play great, and you end up not winning that game. Do you think that game took some starts out of the season? Did that hurt you a little bit? Uh, maybe as a team, maybe, maybe it did, maybe it didn't. It's hard It's hard to say, but you know, it is what it is. You move on, and we're ready to win some games this year. I, mean, I jumped in here late, so I don't know if you uh, read the Genevian quote. I mean, you got any response to what, what he's talking about? Oh, uh, uh, yes, sir. I'll respond a little more in depth to him later. But like I said, he's a, he's a great player. You know, I give, I give credit where credit is due. Uh, he got me that last play, but it was nothing that he did. It was everything that I did that stars my footwork and techniques. So I'm just going to continue to get better. How uh, a personal goal to offensive linemen and defensive linemen take this, I guess? Is it uh, almost like a one-on-one -on -one sort of uh, matchup or mentality? Uh, I, I guess so, but I try not to just focus on myself. I try to focus on my teammates in, in Tennessee. It's not about me. It's about this university. So, you know, people can try to hold in and look at me and Jadavion Conley. But it's not just about this, it's about most universities. How has the conditioning been different this summer, and how will that help you guys mentally and physically? Well, I mean, I don't know if y'all can look at me and sort of do this on my body, but right now I'm not a good one. I haven't been on my since I've been in college, so the conditioning is most definitely working out. Uh, I would say that, you know, a couple weeks ago we ran 52 new teams. I can never imagine myself doing that, so it's pretty good. Oh, yeah. How will it help mentally in the game? Do you guys feel like the fourth quarter is going to be yours? Of course. Um, I think that's that's what half the game is is mental, and I think that four days in order to be mentally tough, you have to be in shape. How much do you guys feel on the offensive front to really set the tone this year? You know, you hear all the talk about you know, quarterback battle, wide right receivers, you know, how, and then up front, it's also on. You guys feel like it's a huge burden. I don't feel like it's a burden. Uh, like I said, we've been together three or four years now, so I mean, we just go out there and we play. You know, the team is going to go at the same pace that we go, so we have to set the standard. In and everybody else will follow. Coming up to five and seven seasons, where do you get your confidence going into this one? It was quite difficult, but we're hungry. We're hungry. I'm, I haven't been to a bowl game yet, and uh, that's winning. You know that hurts as a player. You know, when you're at one of the most important places in college football, but like I said, we're going to continue to get better. Listen to the coaches and we're going to go around. What about this confidence, this coaching staff, inspires confidence? You know what? All the way from the top to the bottom, every single one of these coaches have a swagger about them. And when your coach has a swagger about them like that, it just automatically just sinks into the players. So I think that. That's why the players are so confident right now because our coaches are up next. And uh, that's what you need to guys. Is your role as a leader, as a unit, as an offensive line uh, bigger this year compared to last year when you guys 
had uh, great perimeter it's players out there it's like it's last year. I, I think in football, and, you know, especially in the SEC, your team is going to go as far as your offensive line goes. I don't think if you like, your team, the whole team looks up to the offensive line wherever you're at. So they're going to they're going to go at the pace. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys been you know kind of leading in uh, spring practice when you guys are running more tens or are the guys looking at you all thinking, man, this guy's crazy? Are you guys setting the tone during that? I mean, we set the tone during the lift, during the run, everything. I mean, of course, we're not as fast as some of the seal guys, but when they see us going hard, that makes them want to go hard. Coach chose you, Jawan, Jocka, as all you know, bigger guys linemen. Do you think that says something about the strength of the team? It does. It most definitely does. I, you know, our offensive line and our D line is the strongest part of our team right now. We just got to take the young guys and bring them along. And the thing that's you know really uplifting right now is that we got a lot of young talent, a lot of young talent. So we just got a good middle of the period playing the ACC. Has anyone really stood out to you as a freshman coming in the summer and workouts? Uh, it's hard to say until you put the pops on. So I think uh, the type of guys Look, looking around the rest of the conference, is there an offensive lineman? That you like to model after. Uh, and you look at yeah, you look at him and say that's who I, that's my competition. That's the best lineman in the, in the conference. I see myself as the best lineman. Uh, but most definitely got to give a shout out to Silas and Matthew's guy for this. You know, and, uh, yeah, they're great tackles, but I think in order to be the best, you have to see yourself as the best. So I see myself as the best. Tony, I'm sure you, you heard of Clowney's comments yesterday. I'm sure you've already been asking about it. But he said that, that last year going up against offensive tackles, the guy at Michigan was pretty good. The guy at Tennessee was pretty good. Didn't call you out by name. What's your, what's your reaction to that? Uh, it is what it is. I get credit for credit. It's been a fun score of credit. I mean, to be able to run a 4-4-6, 265, 270, that's outrageous right there. But I get missed credit. But, uh, you know, I think the good players step up. Exactly. I need to step up, and I think last year I stepped up, and I'm looking forward to the match this year. You still have that day on your calendar circle? I have it on my calendar circle. I, watched, I, I, I swear to you, I'm not just talking right now. I watch that that whole film once a week because I'm trying to break him down. Every single movie that he does, I'm trying to break him down 100%. You want to talk about how much you guys are running. Okay. Sometimes you know, yeah. Who would you say out of all you, your group who's in the best shape you think? Would you guys do the mile runs and that sort of thing? Uh, I couldn't say who's in the best shape, but I would say someone who has, who has made big strides on Zach Fulton and Marcus Jackson who were both guards. They're just slim. They're slim and chewing right now. I've never seen one like that before. You know, they basically look like tackles, middle tackles right now. So I think that that goes to show a lot of work that our coaches are doing. How's that going to play for this offense? What's the point of having a lighter guard, so to speak? Of course, I mean, we want to move really fast. That's, that's the ambition to move really fast. Is there, is there a particular quarterback in the battle that you have your partial to that you want to see start the season? There's not. I want the best player to be on the field. And uh, the coach, he's going to choose him. He's going to be the hope of the league. And uh, our job is to be tested. So and some of the workouts, how some of these brand new guys, me and Austin Sanders, Don Weisman, Brett Kendrick, how have you been impressed by them? Or I, have been, I have been impressed by them. I, I've been impressed by how much their mind is, how, how much they retain in a short amount of time. So I think that they'll be able to help us really soon. You confident about the Tennessee's O-line in the future with where you guys are going? I, I, re I really am because just seeing that they're, you know, they're working, I mean, that's all I can really say about it. They're working. 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 They're working.
it's just, it's just another year. How important is it to you guys to end all these losing streaks that you have on the schedule with the Alabamas, the Floridas, the Georgias that, that got you guys down to, to go out on top and end all that? Uh, it's very important. I don't know. You, you come to these, you, you come to the University of Tennessee to win games. You know, it's one of the most storied programs in college football. So that's what we got to get that to. Them. And I think the Coach Jones is bringing that attitude. You know, setting a standard to where we're going to win. Is his concentration on tradition surprised you any of being an Ohio, Michigan kind of guy coming down to the South? I wouldn't say so. I think that all coaches, you know, focus in on what on the history of the program. And I think that that's where it all starts. What have you learned about your number, number seven? Oh, uh, I know a couple guys at Ward, uh, Shaw, uh, y'all remember, remember Shaw from a couple years ago. I mean, it hasn't been a whole bunch of guys who were number 74 that was just really big time, so I'm hoping to put my mark on that. Did you get retired third with Majors and Manning and those guys? Uh, I, I, I couldn't say right now, but that was, that was, that's the goal. That's the goal. Real, 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 real. So, you have a message for the fans. I, I just can't wait. Uh, just come prepared to show my mature session. Can you ready for us to win some games? Great guest, man. Sorry, man.